So the update I never wanted to truly have to report on. So we've all been talking about the Carly Russell case. This is her Instagram, Carly. Over the last few days, you know, she shocked the nation. And black women all over the country felt empowered. We felt finally pleased that America was caring about black women. Every new national news outlet was reporting about Carly Russell. This is the first time this has ever happened. The hunt was on to find this black girl. But then when she showed up at our house, yeah, it got a little greasy. Why did it get a little greasy? Because she just showed up. So then that's when the world got divided. Wait, what's going on? Something is not right here. Okay, we don't want to speak. We want our privacy. Something is going on. What is going on? Well, when you start talking about something, people start DMing you the truth. It looks like 50 people from Hoover have already got fired for leaking what's really going on with this case. And it's trickled into my DMs. So you mean to tell me all this was because she was trying to get back at her ex-man? Yeah, that boyfriend that spoke out about her being kidnapped and held and tortured? Yeah, that was her ex-man. And he actually cheated on her with a stripper. And Carly had it out with the stripper. And to get back at him, yeah, she disappeared herself. And then got afraid when it blew up. This is what Carly said to the side chick. Itch, please. He told me everything you said about me and you thought I told him to say that. I wasn't even with him. You're delusional AF if you think your little conversation was anything more than convenience and the fact that he used you to get back at me out of anger. You want to talk about I don't compare to you on your worst day, girl, bye. You're miserable or at least should be being a stripper to provide for a child I've heard you've had from multiple people. So not surprised you don't know who your baby daddy is. Mention me or contact my N-I-G-G-A again, and you'll see I'm not the one to play with. You don't want you and your whole family touched. You're poor. I'm rich. You're a stripper. I'm a nurse. You're ugly. I'm beautiful. You could never. You're the bottom of the barrel. Someone from the police department just could not watch us all suffer. So they released these details. Here's the update. She's sticking to the story that she was abducted. She says she was lured into the woods by some people who live in the woods, described as a person with orange hair, balding on top, tied her up and drove her around and put her in an 18-wheeler and fed her cheeses for two days, and they painted her nails. They kept her on 150 somewhere, and somehow she managed to get away and run through the woods to her neighborhood until she got into her house and then goes into the hospital. Hoover got some ring doorbell footage from her neighborhood and it just shows her walking casually until she gets close to her house and then she starts sprinting and flailing arms and acting a fool. She got caught stealing from work that day, fell out of nursing school and has been on drugs. She had her friend behind her and that's who picked her up. She was with her friend all weekend. The police knew she was safe because she unblocked her ex while she was quote unquote un abducted. She planned to disappear and realized it wasn't going to work.